It's none other than D-Boy, so thank you so much for joining us. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, just here at the No Bounds event. So yeah, yeah I'm feeling good, lots of live performances kicking off in the background so it's really good yeah. it's really cool. you're in the music scene you know and no bounds is a very important sort of magazine launch to integrate uh, young people to understand music and conscious dance in a different way how important is it for you as a musician um, to understand and to integrate that well I think uh, for London it's very important um, I myself get involved in a lot of music based activities youth based projects as well for Beat Circle my record label so this is this is very um, the ideolo ideology for this is very similar to what I believe in so it's really cool sure. and performances tonight what do you think of them we've got me Eli is it, no HLI in the background yeah. HLI I don't know where I got the me from yeah. um, that's been really cool and um, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest and you've got more to look forward to yep I'm sticking around you know supporting No Bounds so yeah, I'm 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 around. I'm around. Thank you, Dee Boy. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anthony Anaxagura joins us now. He's a poet and he's at the launch tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Now, you're a poet. It's very unusual to find guys doing poetry. Tell us about it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's unusual. I think that it is. Um, it's something that maybe not a lot of men are told. Is a very masculine thing. I think the culture, the way that it kind of markets poetry, it looks at it as kind of an effeminate thing, um, a hypersensitive thing. But then if you actually look at the plethora of poets that have um, kind of from the last two, three hundred years, yeah. you know, it kind of it shows you who. I, mean, I don't know if that's because of the patriarchal system or if it's just because of the fact that men do a lot of writing, though, from Shakespeare all the way up to the beat poets. So, yeah, yeah I think I think it's a, it's a, it's something that that a lot of men might find a bit difficult to kind of connect with, but one, yeah. once you're in there as a means of expression, you know, it's um, you're locked and loaded. So tell us how you got involved, because you, you, you got involved when you were quite young, about yeah. 14 years old, is that right? Yeah, yeah I started um, just writing small little kind of anecdotes about how I was feeling, what I was kind of going through. And obviously as I got older and I started to read more and my command of the language started to increase, they started to become a bit more kind of complex and then yeah. I, I didn't really know what poetry was up until I was about 17 you know so I didn't realize that what I was actually writing was was, was regarded as, as poetry um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the, the weird journey that I've taken with it but as, as, as I got older it was always kind of from expression and it sure. was very therapeutic very cathartic to kind of be able to express yourself in this form that that's what makes sense to me, that's how I kind of see the world and it's my way of elucidating what I'm kind of feeling and what I'm going through and experiencing, you know. Yeah. Can, you, can you give us a little a, a poet to us now that you're, you're very passionate about and to the youngsters who are probably watching? Um, I think one of my greatest inspirations probably Pablo Neruda, okay. um, who was a Chilean poet. He won the Nobel Prize in 1972, 1973, mm -hmm. kind of which one. Um, but yeah, he was kind of a communist poet and again, he deals with very political issues but right. the Spanish literature has got a very kind of eloquent flamboyant way of kind of, of, of writing yeah and it's yeah. very kind of surrealist and stuff like that so I think I connect a lot with with Pablo's stuff and it's not over over complicated in places it's very profound it's very artistic and um, at the same time there's a big message behind even the love and the intimate poetry you know there's still there's still some weight behind it which is what a lot of people can connect with and I, I use that in schools when I go and teach poetry to young children mm. or to young people regardless of, of their age if you know you introduce them to 20 love poems in a song of despair yeah. then you can connect with that he wrote that at 21 so it's like you know okay so which one can we connect to tonight uh, my poetry yeah or anyone's or your poetry whatever it tickles your fancy yeah, I mean I can kind of give you guys a little love poem or something like that that I've that okay. I've written um, it's about three and a half minutes long is that or is that uh, well give us a little short little short bite of it short bite. I'll, give yeah. you, I'll give you half and then we'll take okay. it <clears throat> okay so this is called it's a poem called I mean uh -huh. it goes like this it wasn't always like this I mean I didn't have to be the man to be the man in a world that loses touch with its fingers just so it can boast about having bigger hands I mean 
There was a time where you could hold me, not be conscious about the size of my muscles or the speed of my car or how well I could fight, but rather your concern was with how long I'd lay beside you just to tell you things my mouth was still trying to learn the language to. Because just having you there, whilst the rain gave its silver sheen to all things dry, and the couple upstairs were still afraid to understand one another. When your skin kissed mine in a dark room held together by candles illuminating the worry that made my eyes look rich and I would stare with too much hair on my face into the walls as if waiting for them to tell me the secret to win back the world I had lost. Then it goes on. Wow, that is amazing. And memorising that, is that hard work? Um, uh, kind of the same way as I guess actors when they memorise their lines and you know you, performance poetry is 50% literature, 50% theatrical, so, sure. you know, um, it's the same kind of process. I've got a bit of a photographic memory, so I kind of see okay. the original. The, the word yeah, in your head. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That's, that's a great way of learning. Stay in a state of expression, um, because that is where you will find the greatest elements of humanity, is where you find peace, where you find a sanctum to kind of create and to project outwardly what it is that you're experiencing inside and and I think if more people embraced art and and just the the ability to express and to communicate a message regardless of what it might be it doesn't have to be profound and political and you know revolutionary it can just be something very intimate and very personal but to communicate that you know that life is not a private affair and and to, and to, to, to yeah to, to maintain and to think that that we live you know, in our own little cocooned world is, 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 is wrong. So art is basically saving lives because of what it does and what you project outwardly, someone else will connect with it and you don't know how they're going to, you know, take it in and how, they, how they're going to live with it. And that's the beauty of, of it is that you can go out and stand on a stage in front of two, three hundred people and connect with a room full of strangers, bring them to tears and you leave a piece of yourself there for them and you, you know, that that's I'm, what poetry is about. Correct, that's exactly. And that's what art is about. I mean, it's not exclusive to just poetry. I, I, I kind of, all different art forms, anything to do with expression, yeah, music, music, right, yeah. drama, anything, exactly. Um, it's all about communicating in some way, whether it's an abstract form of communication, or whether it's very literal, or whether it's animated, or regardless of, of, <coughs> of the, the form that it takes, the aim is to leave people with a part of you, part of your mind, part of your experience, and, and your sentiment, you know. Anthony, that was a word of wisdom there, and I've learned a lot from you in the, in the few moments. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you for having me. Thanks very much. All right, performers that are going to come up and do their thing are called Zona Protester. So let's make noise like there's 2,000 of us in here, and them guys are in here as well, and make them feel warm and welcome. Give it up, please, for Zona Protester. Yo, yo. You not ready for a performance of your lifetime, yeah? Hey, make some noise! No Buzz Magazine, where you at, man? Tell all your people to come in from smoking. Smoking is bad for you, man. Alright. Hey, DJ. Yo la protesta, su movimiento 22. Escucha. Yo. Yo. Educación para la nación, ya para esta corrupción ¿Cómo se le ocurre pedir una reelección? Pon atención hermano, y es que tú no sabes que tenemos derechos humanos En mi país se lucha día a día, escondiendo de una guerra fría Que grosería, ave maría, gritan las madres que por eso están heridas Tenemos que contar una salida, cualquier solución será bienvenida Por lo menos hay que encontrar una alternativa Con la mano arriba, y el mano arriba, yeah. Mi gente está muriendo, mi gente está sufriendo por causa del gobierno, agitando vidas inocentes, dejando un vacío en familias para siempre. Y el gobierno no comprende, mi hijo es mala gente, ya muchos están llorando, muchos están agonizando, gente latinoamericana está explotando. Yo, yo.